Hello, my name is Gregor Leander, and with this uh, video, I would like to get you interested in our work constructing and deconstructing intentional weaknesses in symmetric ciphers. This is joint work with uh, Christoph Bayerle, Tim Beiner, and Patrick Fenn. Backdoors and and or intentional weaknesses, um, the, the both overlapping uh, uh, subjects, is a long-standing interesting topic and has many dimensions. So it's interesting for political reasons. It's actually deployed uh, in, in many examples. And it also um, <clears throat> is interesting from an academic point of view with uh, dedicated uh, designs or uh, frameworks to construct uh, such um, backdoors or weaknesses in crypto. And an important disclaimer I want to make is that we don't think backdoors are a good thing. We actually think it's very bad and uh, we would like to understand them better in order to be able to prevent them. So in our work, <coughs> our contribution is twofold. We are on the one side, we are deconstructing uh, existing uh, intentional weaknesses. Namely, we explain how the GA1 uh, cipher was backdoored and probably how this uh, has been const uh, constructed this backdoor, which was an open question. And on the constructing side, we show how to build clickable block surface with backdoors. And we do this in a, what we think is a more natural uh, way than before. So let's start with the first <coughs> topic, which is uh, the GA1 algorithm, which is an algorithm which was used in previous uh, versions of GSM to encrypt uh, the data between the mobile phone and the antenna. The last uh, Europe paper shows that this cipher has a very um, particular weakness, namely two registers jointly um, only have two to the 40 possible states after the linear initialization process, uh, even so they could have uh, two to the 64 possible states running over all possible keys. So there's a high loss of entropy. And um, in this uh, picture, it is shown how unlikely this uh, constellation of uh, loss of entropy is. So in one out of a million tries, the highest entropy loss was nine bits, while GA1 <coughs> has an entropy loss of 24 bits. So this shows that um, this is not a property that can happen by bad luck, but it's something that, um, was uh, was chosen on purpose. And uh, in the Europe paper, it was unclear how you could do this. And this graph gra graphic also shows that it's very hard to find this, even if you are searching for it, then it's just too impo uh, expensive. And we showed a technique, which we believe was the original way to construct these, by basically turning around the property and starting with the entropy loss and searching a particular entropy loss and searching for the LFSRs, or more precisely for the um, characteristic polynomials of the LFSRs uh, in a bit more clever way. The second uh, topic is constructing um, ciphers with uh, backdoors, and in this case, trickable block ciphers. And what we do here is we build upon uh, the malicious framework, which was presented um, last uh, crypto 2020, uh, where the idea is to uh, use a particular um, tweak T0 and hash it and use this <coughs> to construct um, using variants of low MC uh, probability one differential. And what we do here, instead of using uh, pairs of tweaks and constructing probability one differentials, we use one tweak and make use of invariance. And so we show this in two uh, parts. One is malicious AES, where we make use of a well-known invariant that is normally destroyed by the uh, key scheduling. And we modify the key scheduling and add a tweak very much like in the original uh, malicious way to uh, have a variant of AES where for one tweak, you get a very weak cipher, and for all the other tweaks, you get something which is very secure. 
We also have a different uh, version for this idea, uh, which we <coughs> coined boom slang. And this is more involved. It uses a nonlinear invariant over two consecutive rounds. And I think that's uh, highly non-trivial to detect in the sense that for now, we don't have tools to detect this weakness um, automatically. No. So please have a look at the paper. I think that's an interesting uh, construction. And if you want to do so, then you can find the, people, uh, the paper on ePrint uh, already, or you, you are very welcome to contact any of us authors, and we are happy to discuss uh, the paper further. Thank you very much for listening.